Hey everyone, I'm going to show you guys how to use uh, your DX6i for a pan tilt system. Um, right now I have this uh, system mocked up on my uh, Nitroplanes Wing Surfer. Uh, it's an Easy Star clone and uh, it costs about 40 bucks so it's nice and cheap. And uh, so anyways, I'll show you the pan tilt system real quick. When I put it on throttle hold, my throttle, as of now, I have it set to zero uh, when the throttle hold switch is set. And this allows me to use the uh, throttle channel to um, tilt around, tilt up and down. As of now, um, the rudder function still controls the rudder of the airplane. So the only feature enabled on the pan tilt is just the tilt right now when throttle hold is activated. Um, so if I take throttle hold back off, this thing recenters, and then I then have throttle control again. Okay, so I'm gonna now put uh, my gear mode on, and now again your tilt is responding to your uh, throttle input. So as I increase throttle, the uh, camera tilts up. But now my rudder controls the uh, pan. You can look all around. And these servos that I'm using right now are uh, the mini, I want to say they're like PT260 uh, from uh, Hobby Wireless. Uh, I think they actually false advertise them as 260 degree servos when in reality they are 180 degree servos so uh, I think on the website they might say it's 260 degrees but it's actually just the the model is like a PT260 so uh, just something to be aware of if you get those servos they're only 180 degrees which is perfectly fine for this setup that I'm using so you obviously have full control here um, so as of now, um, my throttle uh, function is set at zero for this demonstration. In uh, actual flight, I'm going to have my throttles be at like 30% maybe. Um, so when I'm flying right now um, and I'm using this to look around, um, I still have throttle um, being applied to the plane at a constant rate. And as you can see here, elevator still works and ailerons still work just fine. So um, this will definitely fly perfectly. Um, so a quick setup of how I did this. Um, you're going to want to start off in a new model. Um, as you can see here, helicopter. So you need to make sure you go down into your setup list. First thing you want to do is do model type and pick heli. Um, let's see, second thing you want to do, go into gyro, make sure it's 50 and 50. Throttle curves, for normal, you're going to make this just a, a linear um, function, so 0, 25, 50, 75, and 100. For stunt mode, um, right now for this demonstration, I have it set at 0, but I'm in reality gonna set it at like 30 or maybe even higher I'm not sure yet I'm not sure how fast I need to um, have my throttle going when I'm doing FPV but and then hold is also set at zero right now again for this demonstration but you can set these up to like 30 or 50 or whatever however fast you need to fly um, so yeah that's those your pitch curve for normal I have at 50 so that makes this thing look straightforward when it's a normal. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to turn this back off. Well, make sure your throttle's off first. So I'm going to turn that off, and my throttle hold is off. So as you can see now, this is looking straight at me. Um, so in forward normal flight, I want to be able to see directly ahead of me, so that's cool. Um, let's see. Stunt mode. I have it in a linear 
fashion, so I, I'll be able to look both up and down. Um, similarly with hold mode. Um, so hold is just this throttle hold again. So if I flip this and my throttle's all the way down, you'll see that my camera goes all the way down. Okay? So that's because right now my throttle is actually at the very left end of this. So if I move this up, you can actually see my throttle's increasing, therefore my camera starts looking up. So that's just how that's working. I'll turn this back off and it'll recenter. Okay, so that's normal flight mode. I got everything running again. Alright, so those are the mixes I have set up for now. Uh, again, the main thing that you're going to want to change is this throttle curve. You're going to want to set it at something other than zero when you're actually activating your FPV pan tilt. Um, swash mix, don't worry about that. As long as your uh, swash type is set to um, the 90 servo 1 setting, do not have it as the CCPM. Um, here we get into our mixes. You're going to want to mix your rudder with rudder. Um, negative 100s and then your switch F mode or this is your stunt for this uh, transmitter it's right up here so that's the switch you're going to be using the F mode okay. okay so that's all for mix 1 hopefully you see that and then hop down to mix 2 and you're going to mix your rudder with your gyro again negative 100s and also mix that into your F mode or your stunt mode switch that you just saw. And it's actually that simple. Once that is done, you're good to go. Um, you might have to mess with some sub trims or something just to get your um, camera pointing straight, um, however you need it to. Um, I guess lastly, you need to know which servo is connected into which channel. Tilt servo is connected into the auxiliary or the six channel port. Your pan servo is actually connected into your gear um, receiver port. So that's all you'll need to know to get this thing working the same way I do. And uh, hope this helps you guys and have some fun with it. See ya.